welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be working on the X20 here. Uh, we're going to remove the headlight. I want to remove the headlight so we have to do that. And removing the headlight is actually good because then you get your speedometer uh, and you'll also get your ignition. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that. We won't need uh, anything too crazy. Just regular hand tools. We'll need a 10 mil uh, socket for sure. Usually there's a bolt down underneath there too, but not on this one. So on this one, we're just going to need a 10 mil socket. So let's go ahead and we'll take off the headlight and I'll show you what we're going to do. So if you move up here, it doesn't matter what side, we'll start on this side first, I guess. Drop down right here. So you're going to want to remove this bolt and this bolt, but for now, I'm just gonna remove this one on the bottom. I'm gonna get my handy dandy little bolt straight here. Because we don't like bolts just floating around. Okay, so I'm gonna grab now the one on the other side. Same thing. Now I go ahead and take the one off on the top, on this side. And then I'm going to take the other one off. But when I take the other one off, I'm going to want to keep a hold of the headlight because it's going to, it's only bolt holding it on there. So I'm just going to grab right here and right here, just hold it up. There. It's still being held in place there, so let's see what's holding it. Okay, you just have to actually give it a little shake and it'll come down. Now. These wires here, I'm going to disconnect them. This is my headlight wire. So the headlight wire is always going to be blue and white. So we're just going to disconnect that, pull it apart. And these are our signal light wires. Um, orange is always left and blue and green. Well, orange and green is always left and blue and green is always right. So we're going to disconnect those. And we're going to take it off. Now the headlight inside here there's no discernible bulb in this headlight. So if you look underneath here, you'll just see LED lights, but there's no actual light bulb in this. So when this needs to be changed, it actually comes as one part. It comes as this part right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll take it off of here so I can show you uh, how to change it. So I'm just gonna get set up here over on my table here and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in our headlight here. So if you look inside, there's some screws that have to be removed. And then these parts here will literally just kind of split apart. So you'll wanna remove this screw here and it has a nut on it. If you just hold it with your fingers, you don't have to take it apart. And I noticed underneath here there's a bolt missing here too what this bolt is for is for setting your headlight so you can move your headlight up and down to set it and then once it's set you can just tighten this screw in i don't know how it, it went missing but it's missing so i'll have to replace that so now i'm going to take the headlight out itself the headlight's got four screws that hold it in one here one here one here and one down here. So let's get those out of the way. Okay. 
And these screws are just self-tapping machine screws for nothing uh, special. Sides separate like that, just like Iron Man's mask. Check that out. Okay, so now this just lifts out of the front cover. Now, if you need a new headlight, this is how you're going to get it. It's going to look just like this when it comes in the package. Um, so you want to be very careful that you don't scratch uh, or break your front fairings here, your light fairings, because they don't actually come included with the headlight. So you want to be very, very careful of that. Now, when you get your new one, you're gonna unwrap it. You could always give the lenses a quick wipe. Um, I'm not, I don't even wanna to touch these ones because I don't wanna dirty them. But, so I'm gonna give them a quick wipe too. And then when we put this headlight back in, I'll show you how to set it. I'm gonna just wipe everything really good. I'm also gonna see a little bit of dirt in here. I'm gonna wipe all that out too. While you have it open, you might as well wipe everything. Put my headlight off to the side right now. I'll rub up my fairings. Looks like they're a little bit of muddy water in them or something. Okay. Now we can go ahead and put our light back in like this. Like that. Now when these go on, these side pieces, they slip onto these rubbers here. And then this here, this little tab here, slips into this track right here. And that is so you can put your headlight up and down when you're, uh, when it's on the bike. I'm gonna, and again, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna get a screw and I wanna be able to fix that and uh, make it so my headlight goes up and down. So now to put our pieces back on, like I said, our, you gotta make sure your wire's up on the top for your signal light. Make sure your hole lines up right there. And then all you have to do is line it up at the top with this tab. And it snaps in like that. And that's perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Again, make sure your wire goes on the top. Line up my rubber. And then I just gotta line up that tab up here. And it snaps in like that. And make sure that your tab down here now lines up and goes together like this. There's a little tab on each side, and that's it. And again, make sure that lines up on each side so we can move that up and down. So now we've got all that in place. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our screws back in. Now these wires, there's a little holder on each side for your, each one. So you just put it back in the holder like that. And then we can put our machine screws back in. Just like that. screws are in for my headlight. Now, just like I said, this headlight does move back and forth inside there. And it should actually, them being in that holder, you want to make sure it's in that holder. So I'm going to put my, like this, I'm going to make sure that this is together too. Come on, snap in there. screw my, my nut because it holds this fairing together.
and make sure that these don't slip out. There we go. Now I can tighten up this screw. That holds my fairing together there. Now, like I said, this is gonna move up and down. So, right now, my light is pointed very low, but once I get it on the bike, and these are, are back, and my bolts are back in, then I'm gonna show you how to set it so that it's uh, set. But I'm gonna put it all the way to the bottom right now, just like that. And then we can go ahead and we can uh, put the headlight back on. So I'm gonna get uh, everything turned around and get my camera set up again. We'll put the headlight back on and then we'll, uh, we're gonna use the wall to adjust it. So for when you're riding, you have uh, your headlight, excuse me, is exactly where you want it. Okay, so now I just put a screw in the bottom of my headlight here. And I'll show you what I mean. Just like that. It should already have one in there, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect everything. So. When you're connecting these lights up, don't let your headlight sit on your fender because it'll just scratch it. So first, plug in your headlight. Now the signal lights, it's pretty basic. You're gonna go blue to blue. And then the green is a double port. So you put one green in that side. And then there's gonna be the orange right here, where is it, there it is, there it is, so my orange goes to my orange, and my green goes to the other green, like that, and now we can put our headlight back on, so these actually clip, we're going to put our, our signal, our wires down there like that, these actually clip over the little toggles on each one, so We'll put the bottom one on first. Oops. There we are. That. Okay. That. Perfect. Now we can get our bolts and put it in place. So I'm just going to put that in finger tight. I'm in finger tight. Tighten these up in a minute. I just want to get them in place first. Because before I tighten them up too tight, I'm going to set my headlight. And we just got to move our camera to do that. Of course, I dropped my sockets. That's just the way that goes. So our headlights technically back on and all in place, but this is not where I want it. Let me go up that mic. There we go. So we when I oops. so now I can set this headlight down or up. And I'll show you how to do that. And I'll show you 
what you want to achieve when you do do that. Um, uh, I've got to move my camera and stuff, and I'm going to make a kind of make a wall so I can see, you can see what I'm going to do. So just give me a few minutes to get that set up, and I'll show you how to set up that light. Okay, so <clears throat> normally I like to have somebody sit on the bike while I'm doing this. Um, but what you want to do is you want to be able to stand your bike up like this and turn your key on. You'll see your headlight. Now, that headlight, because I have that screw that maneuvers up and down, I can maneuver that headlight up and down. Let me get around here. Even if I put my bright light on, you can see it, it's, a little, it's a little brighter. But what you want to do is you want to be able to move it, and you can, and it adjusts up and down. Right there is almost where I want it right there. It's about the center of the road. <clears throat> I like to have it about four feet up, you notice, and it's not too bad. Then when I hit my bright lights, it'll go a little higher and a little brighter. You want to see up the road, and the bike's not standing up either, so. But that's where you, about where you want it, right there. Once you get your headlight where you want it, um, let me turn my key off. Then we can go ahead with our, our uh, screwdriver and then put our screw up nice and tight. This one's pretty well right where I want it already. So most all headlights on motorcycles have an adjustment to move them up and down. Now you can see where the X21 is. It's very easy to get to and it's very easy to adjust. So uh, that there right there is how you set your headlight. And like I said, it does move up and down. So all you have to do is move this headlight forward and backward. I'm not gonna touch it because it's exactly where I want it. But you just have to move it forward and backward and it'll move up and down. Uh, and that'll adjust it for when you're driving down the road. You don't want your headlight to be pointed right at the road in front of you. You want it up about four feet or so so that you can see actually down the road. You're not actually just seeing the pavement in front of you. So when I turn my E back on, there's my headlight and then I hit my high beam and it, it's perfect. This is set just perfect. And uh, so that's how you set the headlight up on the X20 after you replace it.